Hey guys, welcome to another rebuild. This time I'll be rebuilding Burnley FC. It was suggested by Angry World Cup Gaming. Um, I did want to do it, but I was hoping to wait for the um, tran general transfer window. So now the general transfer window is finished. I can do the rebuild because um, they were signing uh, Vegard. So I didn't want to do the rebuild before they sign him. So yeah, I'll see you guys at the team. So this is how the team is looking like. They're playing a 4-4-2 at the back. And... And the goalkeeper, we have Nick Pope, so I don't think I'll be selling him. He's a good goalkeeper to have. And here's the back line, um, just a lower mid table ish Premier League side. Uh, yeah, we have Taylor here in left back position, Ben Mee and Tarkovsky. Ben Mee is getting up there with age, he's 31 years old, so I'm thinking of replacing him in the future. Roberts, he's 29, so I guess he can stay. Definitely, Lennon needs to go, he's like 34. Yeah, and also Ashley Westwood is 31 years old. Josh Brownhill is 25, so he can stay. McNeil will stay. Corner, I'll be converting him to a striker together with this man, the guy I chose to wait for the rebuild uh, about Veghorst. Yeah, so um, yeah, so definitely need to get a new center mid and a right mid, and I'll see you guys when we make the transfers. Our first departure is going to be Matthew Lowton. He's off to Fiorentina for 4.8 million. Another player departure is going to be Ashley Westwood. He's off to Arsenal for 5.8 million. Phil Bardsley is off to Brentford for just under 500k. And also Jack Cork is off to Ace Monaco for 3.2 million. Our first sign of the season is going to be Johnny McGinn. I've signed him from Aston Villa for 16.5 million and agreed to a four year contract worth around 24k. There is visual confirmation. Johnny McGinn signs for 16.5 million. Our second sign of the season is going to be Alexis Sellermaker. I've signed him from AC Milan for, was it 19 million? Yeah, and he agreed to a four year deal worth around 45k. I have also sold Dale Steven. He's off to Bournemouth for 1.7 million. We are at Deadland Day, and these are the transfers we have made. As you can see, we have spent 36 million and also profited. 16 million and I will quickly show you guys something yeah this one is it just me or James Ward Pass every time goes to Real Betis in my Frankfurt career mode um, we played them in the Europa League and he was playing there and if I can remember he did pick up uh, a red cut there so I don't know what's up with uh, James Ward Pass to Real Betis there but that's beside the points let me show you guys the transfers we have made um I think you've seen already but I'll just show you again um Top deal is going to be Salah Makers for 19 million. McGinn, 16 million. Westwood is off to Arsenal. Some of these transfers. The top deal of the transfer window is going to be to Hernandez to AC um, Real Madrid for 88 million. Indeedy to Manchester United for 66 million. 59 million for Ruben Neves to Real I mean Liverpool. P Bukayo Saka to Leipzig is a good one. And Fakir to Juventus. Yeah. And also the, the Hernandez brothers moving to Real Madrid is a good one here in Timber. But yeah, um, let me quickly show you guys the team. This is team going into the first uh, the season. So as you can see, um, Josh Taylor is not looking very sharp, but we'll work on that. But yeah, South America is everything's going really well. But I'll catch you guys at the halfway through through the season. season we're currently sitting in 12th place with 26 points uh, far away from the relegation. I'm pretty happy with that I was expecting relegation dogfight but Aston Villa Brighton leads in a terrible big trouble as um, the top of the league Chelsea there leading the, the league by three points a very tight lead but yeah so yeah I'm pretty happy with the position we sit in but hopefully we can continue this and I'll see you guys at the end of the season or maybe the transfer we are a deadline day as you can see we haven't made any signing to be honest we don't have the funds to do so we had about 8 million so yeah nothing we can do with it but this is how the team is looking like Maxwell Corny up to 80 overall Salamakers 280 McKinney is 80 so the team the new signings they're all up to 80 so yeah pretty happy with the team and I'll see you guys at the end of the season hopefully we survive relegation but we'll find out at the end of the season, we managed to finish in 10th place, uh, 44 points. Pretty happy with that. And the relegated sides are uh, Crystal Palace, Leeds United, and Southampton. And the Premier League was won by Chelsea with 86 points. United there with second place. And the FA Cup was won by Manchester United over West Ham. The Carabao Cup was won by Manchester United. Another trophy to add to their list. And the Champions League was won by Chelsea again, beating Atletico Madrid. And the Europa League was won by Betis, beating Leverkusen 4-2. And the Conference League in the first season, of course, will be won by Tottenham Hotspur. 
Here are the stats for the first season. As you can see, uh, Veg Verhurst coming in clutch there. Scored 19 goals and 2 assists. And Alexis Selimic is what a great sign he was. He scored 16 goals and 7 assists there. Um, Ashley Barnes there still got uh, 5 goals and 4 assists. And Josh Brownhill there with 4. I'm really surprised with Dwight McNeil that he got 4 goals and 11 assists. Going by plus 4 overall there. Yeah, just a great season from the team overall. And I'll, I'm pretty happy with the team. And... Hopefully we can build on this base and I'll see you guys season 2. I don't know this, but I'm confused. Vegahors picked up an injury and he'll be out for 3 months. I don't know what, we didn't play any games with the end of the month, I mean the end of the season. So, um, there you go, EA Sports, uh, another thing that's confused me. Season 2 of the Burnley rebuild, so this is how the team is looking like going to season 2. As you can see, um, I think we've sold the... Uh, What's his name? Ben Mee, so we'll be looking to get a new center back and potentially a striker since Weghorst is injured. But I'll see you guys at the transfers we make. Here's Ben Mee is off to Juventus for 11 million. Our first sign of the season is going to be Ruben, Ruben Vinagre at the left back position. The the guy we signed him from Wolves for, I think it was 11 million. Yeah, great signing. Yeah, what, what is this glitch? Hello? I can't even move my thumb. So yep, um, two glitches in one video already. Good job, FIFA. There is the visual confirmation. Burnley signs Ruben Vinagre for 11 million. Charlie Taylor is off to Olympic Marseille for 10 million. Our second sign of the season is going to be Ben Barrett and Diaz. I've signed him from our KRC gank for I think it was 21 million. A uh, great striker. And he accepted a five-year deal worth around 24k a week. We're at the deadline day, as you can see. We have spent um, close to, I think, yeah, we spent 20, 32 million two players, uh, Ben Diaz and Vinagre, and we sold me and Taylor. And this is uh, these are the top deals, as you can see. Um, who else? Yeah, we sold Ben me to events at the beginning of the season. Taylor to Marseille, and those are that's the transfers we have made. And the top deal of the transfer is going to be Harry Kane to Real Madrid for 200 million. Uh, Victor Zimhan to Everton for 91 million. And yeah, some, some heavy hitters in the transfer window. Real Madrid selling Benzema, interesting one. But yeah, those are the transfer window. And this is how the team is looking. Like as you can see, Vekors is coming back from his injury. And Ben Burton is already happy. So yeah, I'm happy with the team, especially Salamakers. He's up to 83. So yeah, I'm not going to make any more transfers. But. Um, I'll suss out the team, how we doing, if we lack in one position, um, I'll pick it up and and maybe improve it, but I'll see you guys at the halfway through the season. Mm -hmm. We currently sit in ninth place, uh, familiar position, we have 28 uh, points there, and not far off uh, Manchester United there, um, Liverpool, all in the same position there, and Wafford, Brentford, and Fulham in a big trouble there, and Everton currently leading the league there, interesting one with 48 points and this is how the team is looking like at the moment here so Salamakers is already up to 85 of world McGinn is going really nicely Brownhill is not really going so it might be a position we target but yeah I'll see you guys at the transfers we make our first sign of the general transfer window is going to be Curtis Jones I've managed to absolutely snatch the bargain here we signed it for 22 million and yeah great signing to have and um, I'll be selling Josh Brownhill soon we are at the deadline of the first opening transfer window. Unfortunately, I couldn't sell Josh Brownhill. Yeah, that's a bit of an L, but it doesn't really matter as Harry Kane um, to Real Madrid is the top transfer for 200 million. And is this, I don't know if anything has changed, but they, the transfers look uh, the same from last season, I think. I don't know, maybe I'm just tripping, but a Guri there, a player I wanted to sign there. Um, doesn't really matter, but we do make the signing of Curtis Jones. And yeah, that's the only sign we made. And this is how the team is looking like at the moment. But Vegor is up to 84. And yeah, the team is coming really nicely together. Salamik is 85. Yeah, really good team. And I'll see you guys halfway through the season. And at the end of the season, it's pretty disappointing that we couldn't finish in Europa League place. So we do stay in 9th place again. This time improving on our points with 59 points there. The relegated sides are Brighton, Middlesbrough and Fulham all going down. And the league was won by Manchester City. Tied with Everton there. But last clip, it was actually the January transfer. You know, for somehow I was confused. So that's why I said it was the opening window. It doesn't really matter. But let's take a look at the FA Cup. I know we made it to a final, but I can't remember. 
the, yeah, we made it to the semi-finals of the FA Cup. We got knocked out by Liverpool and they lost to Bournemouth. Interesting, 4-2. And the Carabao Cup was won by Manchester City over Spurs. The Champions League, Bayern beating Manchester City are not having a great day there as they lose to Bayern 1-0. And in the Europa League was won by Benfica beating Atletico Madrid 3-1. In the Conference League was won by Montpellier beating Antalyspor, the Turkish side 2-1. I'll see you guys at the squad stats. Here are the stats for this season. Um, our top goal scorer is going to be again Salah Makers, 24 goals and 10 assists. What a season he has. Up to 84 overall, 86 I meant to say. Val Vegors, big Vegors coming in clutch there with 22 goals and 1 assist. And... Um, Maxwell Cornet with 20 goals, so our three forwards putting up numbers there, 20, 20 plus goal season. Uh, McGinn there with six goals, one assist, and McNeil there, he had a great season last season, but he still grow plus four, so the team is growing really nicely, plus four is all across the board, plus three, so yeah, and I'll see you guys at next season. This is how the team is looking like going into season three. Um, Vilkor is, the I'm happy with the striker uh, position, and the wings center mid. I'm, I'm pretty happy with the attack, so this is the problem. In a right back position, we have Connor Roberts, who's 27 years old, so this is the position I'm willing to upgrade this. Um, spend majority of budget on a right back position and potentially a center back. I'm thinking of selling James Tarkovsky, he's 30 years old, so we'll see. So the only two positions I need to upgrade is the right hand side of the defense, and I'll see you guys on what transfers we make. Our first sign of the season is going to be a free agent. Jamie Duque, I've, signed, I've found him in the free agent, so his stats looks promising, but I don't know if his, his overall is up to the part, but we'll find out his overall in a little bit. And he will be 79 rated, okay. Perfect, I was looking for 79 rated player, so I can't remember, I think he's Quadrados region, maybe, but it doesn't really matter, we do have a good right back. Our second sign of the season is going to be another free agent, Eduardo Ruiz, the Brazilian. Uh, he looked really good, so I don't know. Yeah, he's 78 rated, so we do have really good free agents. So I don't know whose region it is. Maybe Marcelo, it could be, but what a great uh, transfer that was. But I don't know how we find two really good free agents, but it doesn't really matter. But I'll see you guys uh, what other transfers we make. Our first departure of the season is going to be James Tarkovsky. He's off to Villarreal for 32 million. Placement, we got Gianluca Mancini from the Al Sociedad. We paid 29.7 million, so he will be a, our first big sign of the season. Our next sign is going to be Roman Froila, a free agent sign. He'll just be just a rotation player to have uh, currently with in the squad depth, so he will be our next sign of the season. Our next sign will be another squad rotation player, Rob Dickey. He is a 77 rated player, so good to have him. There is Rob Dickey holding the number 19 there. Um, 19, I don't know what I'm saying, but I'm reading an article. But yeah, I'm looking forward to having him. I mean, he looks like an absolute beast. This is the type of player Burnley will sign in IRL. Yeah, we're in deadline day. That was a hectic opening transfer window there. We spent 39.7 million, not a lot, but we did sell Tarkovsky for 32.4 million. And here are the top deals around the world. Um, Yuri Tielemans to Liverpool. Pedro Gungalfs to uh, Roma FC. Jesus to Napoli. Yeah, some big money being thrown out left and right. So here are the signings we made. Um, if I can get it. Tarkovsky to Villarreal. We sold San Mancini for 29.7 million. Dickey for 10 million. And we made these two awesome free agents. And Jamie Duke and um, Eduardo Ruiz. And let's quickly take a look at the team here. As you can see, um, Velcors is up to 86 overall. Then Max Cornet need to pick up on his overall rating there. I'm happy with McNeil and Salah Makers, the 85 and 87 respectively. And our center mid Jones and um, again need to pick up some rating. And yeah, I'm pretty happy with the team. And I'll catch you guys at the halfway of the season. Our first sign of the general transfer window is going to be Sebastian Cuartes, the Uruguayan. I've signed him from Inter Milan for... 12 million so it will be a good pack-up to have and it will add that leadership quality to the bench through the season we're currently sitting fifth place with 36 points so a very promising position we could push for Europa League spot if we stay in the same position but I'm very optimistic that we can push for top four and the relegated sides uh, not re really relegated but Watford, Benford and West Brom in big trouble there and uh, Man City and uh, Liverpool fighting for the league there are two points between them and I'll see you guys at the uh, 
transfer deadline. Yeah, that will be the only transfer we made, uh, just Sebastian Quartes. And let's take a look at the top transfers around the world. Yeah, Yuri Tielemann still the top transfer. Pedro Gangalvis there, but Christian Romero to Manchester United for 96 million there. Yeah, still big money moves, but let me show you guys the squad second half of the season. And yeah, it's going really nicely. Um, I need Collins to pick up the rating and maybe Doku, but... Yeah, but I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Hopefully, we can stay in top four position. At the end of season three, we will finish in second place. They're a really good spot to finish. We actually gave real, I mean Liverpool a good run for their money. They're one point separating both of us. But yeah, and Manchester City and Chelsea completing the top four. The relegated sides are Southampton, Watford and Bournemouth all going down. And let's take a look at the FA Cup. The FA Cup was won by Chelsea beating Stoke City 3-1. And the Carabao Cup was won by Manchester United uh, beating their Man City rivals 3-2. I know we got knocked out in the semi-finals by them. Yeah, we lost to them 3-1. And the Champions League was won by Paris Saint-Germain. They beat Liverpool 5-4 on penalties. And also in the Europa League was won by Villarreal. Uh, they beat 1-0 to Olympique Marseille. I mean, Olympique Lyonnais. And the Conference League was won by, let's go, Eintracht Frankfurt winning some silverware there, good to see. Um, They beat Lazio there 1-0. Here are the stats for Season 3. Our top goal scorer is going to be Val Weghorst there, 21 goals and 2 assists. And Maxwell Corne picking up this season there, 15 and 8. Salah Makers up to 90 overall, this guy's been growing really well there, 14 and 4. John McGinn slowed down really, uh, 11 goals and 9 assists. Uh, Vinagre popping some goals there from left back position yeah just overall a great season um we actually overachieved by our expectation i was hoping to finish top five but we actually finished in the second so that means we'll get a lot of money next season but yeah i'll see you guys next season season four so this is how the team is looking like they're kind of international duty there um, the position I'm upgrading is definitely a center back and potentially a center mid as mcginn has been slowing down and yeah so center back and center mid and I'll see you guys on what transfers we make. Our first sign of the season 5 is going to be a free agent in Francisco Grasso. We agreed a 5 year deal worth around 12.5k. He's actually 82 rated overall, I didn't know that. So he must be like someone else region. I, I'm guessing like Benucci or uh, Chiellini. It's one of them uh, region but it doesn't really matter. Building an Italian partnership here and Mancini is also Italian as well so two Italian center backs so good to see uh, we build an Italian national team in our team. Our second sign of the season is going to be Marcos Llorente. We have signed him from Atletico Madrid. We're paying I think we paid uh, let me see I think it was 65 million plus uh, Froila uh, to get him to the club. Confirmation there we paid yeah we did pay 65 million there for Marcos Llorente. Sign of the season is going to be Lucas Moura, a free agent. He will be a rotational player to have on the bench. I'll be giving him a 63k wage and I'll be happy to join. Our final sign of the transfer window is going to be Radu as a backup goalkeeper for 11.5 million. Our first departure of the season is going to be Eduardo Ruiz, the free agent Brazilian left back. I've sold him to ASC Roma. He didn't want it to renew his contract so he wanted to move so I let him just go. Our final transfer of this window is going to be Luca Pellegrini as a backup left back for, I think we paid 20 million or just shy of 20 million. Let's see how much we spent this transfer window. I know we just went in ham this transfer window. We spent 96.5 million profit, 18 million. <coughs> Let me show you guys the top transfers around the world. And it will be uh, Fede Valverde to Man City for 130 million. Ryan Gravenbeck there to Atletico. Alexander Isaac was a player I was going to sign. Yeah, and Marcos Llorente there, 65. And quickly have move over our transfers. Yeah, Marcos Llorente, Pellegrini, Reese to Roma. And we signed Radu as a backup. And this, um, this free agent region, Lucas Mora. And I'll show you guys the squad as usual. This is how the team is looking like. Maxwell Corne. 84, 87 respectively and yeah, so pretty happy with the team and just um, sussing out what we do um, in general transfer window I might look to upgrade a position that we lack but 
Yeah, I'll see you guys at the January transfer window. I actually forgot we were in the Champions League for a second. I haven't done rebuilds in a while, so I completely forgot. But yeah, we're in a, we're a group with uh, Leverkusen, Club Brugge, and Lokomotiv Moscow. That should be an easy group for us to get out. Um, not much trouble there. Um, I'm expecting Leverkusen and Club Brugge to give us a good challenge there. Other groups are Chelsea, Napoli, Borussia Dortmund, Atletico to go through that group. I'm wishing Liverpool, Villarreal, Porto, Varenc Varos, Paris, Juventus, Leipzig. Man City, Valencia, Lyon, and yeah, it doesn't really matter the rest, but I'll see you guys at the first knockout game. In second place, regardless, we are true in our group sheets. There are 10 points, and Leverkusen top in the group with 14 points there, and we will be facing FC Barcelona in the round of 16. And in the Premier League, we are currently sitting in third place and just uh, 38 points, and not far off. Chelsea there. Um, we could push for a league title this season. Uh, I don't know, but we'll have to find out. But I'll see you guys at the round of 16 game against it's Barcelona. Window. Currently, we haven't made any signings. I'm pretty happy with the team. Um, yeah, Maxwell Corner is picking up his growth there. Um, so is Jones and Llorente. Llorente hasn't grown that much, so it's that kind of worrying. But the rest of the team is going really nicely. Ruben Vinagre picked up an injury, which is not good. But he should be back before the round of 16 tie against Barcelona. So, yeah, I'll see you guys at the round of 16 against Barcelona. At home at Turf Moor here, looking to pick up, not three points. I was going to say three points, but maybe a win here will be nice here. And we do get a 1-1 draw. You know what? 1-1 one, one isn't that bad against the Barcelona, but we do, um, hopefully we can pick up a win here, um, away at the new Camp. This is where it comes down here, away at the new Camp. Um, can our team get through this? We'll have to find out here against Barcelona, and we do No, we actually lost on penalties to Barcelona there. Damn it, that actually hurts there, but it doesn't really matter. I'll see you guys at the, um, season finale, not season finale, at the end of the season. We managed to finish in third place there, only three points behind uh, Chelsea, the league lead is there, but it doesn't really matter. The relegated siders are Leeds, Norwich and Brighton going down in FA Cup. I believe we went to the semi-finals, I think. Yeah, we went to the final, we lost to um, Everton there, not having a great season. And in the Carabao Cup, we lost the final again, that's three finals, I mean... If you add the uh, league title with three points behind, but it doesn't really matter. Not a great season from us, but uh, the uh, Champions League was won by Juventus, they beating Real Madrid. And in the Real League was won by uh, Olympic Lyonnais, 2-0 over Sevilla. And the Conference League was won by Spurs again, beating Anderlecht 3-2. For this season, our top goal is going to be Ben Barrett in this day with 50, no, 56 appearances at 33 goals. They're not a... That's really impressive, to be honest. I was expecting him to be a bench player, but he will be a top scorer there. And Maxwell Cornet, second with 27 goals and 11 assists. Salah Makers with 16 and 13. They're not great season for him. Veghorst, not really growing much, but 15 and 6. And Curtis Jones putting up numbers there. So I think we know where we need to upgrade next season. But yeah, not a good season from us. The season is going to be Dwight McNeil. He's off the athletic club for 110 million. There, I tried re uh, renegotiating, but he wasn't happy, so I just I had to uh, let him go because my manager rate was plummeting down, so that's why. But we signed a big center back signing in, an Amrik Laporte, for I think 60 million plus. So, one of a center back there. This replacement, I got Noni Madweke from Everton for 96.1 million there. I'll be converting him to a left midfield, but I'm looking forward to what he offers. Deadline day, we haven't made any signings besides the two signing of um, Laporte, Madweke, and three free agent players just for the objective there. And let me quickly show you guys the top transfers. Chiesa to Liverpool for 164, Jude Bellingham to Real Madrid there, Pedro Gonzalez to Real Madrid. Yeah, and... Noni Madweke there, 96 million, and we can show you guys our transfers. Yeah, Madweke is our top transfer, 96 million. Laporte for 55 million plus Nathan Collin. Ben Brayton, this release clause was paid by Manchester United, and he's off to, um, you know, I didn't know they paid his release clause, so you need to get a, um, a striker here at deadline day. But yeah, I'll pull some strings together, and I'll see you guys once we make the signing. Going into get is going to be a familiar face in Raul Di Thomas. If you watch my uh, Bio Daily camera last year, last season, last FIFA, um, he was an absolute beast. So he will be our backup signing. Like um, 
yeah, just you can see, I'm hoping, not even hoping we need to win the Premier League title with this team. And unless something happens, but in the Champions League, I don't know what I expect, but in the, the in the Premier League, we definitely need to win with this team. And I'll see you guys halfway through this. Here's the uh, Champions League group, uh, Villarreal, Olympic, Lyon, and Salzburg. There, I'm expecting a clean through um, first place finish. We do finish top of the league, but I mean top of the group. Villarreal, they were tied on points with 11 points, regardless we are true, and we'll be facing round of 16, Real Madrid, okay. Um, Dinamo Kiev, they're facing NR, so some good matchups, and I'll see you guys at the, at the round of 16 against yeah, Real Madrid. They're done, as you can see, we haven't made any signings, I'm pretty happy with the team there, but I'll quickly show you guys the top transfers this window, and I don't think nothing have changed, yeah, except for uh, Gakbo to... Yeah, so see that, but yeah, I still say the same. But if you guys want to see the squad, this is how the team is looking. Um, what's his name? Uh, Maxwell Cornet that was putting up goals. I think he scored 14 goals so far. Um, nice to see uh, Jones there up to 88. And our um, free agent Brazilian is up to 88. So pretty happy with the team. And I'll see you guys so, uh, at the Premier League. Curling City, where I want to be. First place there, 52 points. As in Man City, fighting for that league title there. And also in the relegated dogfight is going to be a Crystal Palace, Burnworth and Sheffield United. So as long as we stay in the same exact position, I'm happy. And I'll see you guys at the end of the season. Maybe... No, actually, I'll see you guys at the round of 16 against Real Madrid. I swear I keep forgetting we're in the uh, Champions League every single so Now season. we need to get business done here at the round of 16. So we're at the uh, Santiago Bernabeu. Can we win our first leg here? And we do lose here. And that's not a good way to start, but we have a walk ahead of us. So we're at Turf Moor. Here we go. The return leg of the Champions League round of 16 here at home at Turf Moor. We have a big walk ahead of us. Um, let's see if we can overturn the comeback here. And we... And yes, we do. For a second, I thought we actually lost. I don't know where I was looking at, but we do make the comeback and we are true on penalties. 5 4 there. And that's a big relief there. So I'll see you guys at the quarter. St. Germain there in the quarterfinals there. Um, let's just get a win here. We're at the back to Brands here. And we do pick up a 4 1 trash in there. So just team old PSG there. Who they have there, by the way? Donnarumma. They still have their team, yeah, Mbappe. I don't know how we beat him, but we're just too good. Here we go, second leg out turf more. You know, the the tie is already done, so at this point we're just simulating here and six three on aggregate, so BSG getting the dumpster right there. In the semi-final we're facing a side that knocked us out last season, so we wanna get revenge here against Barcelona and the other side is going to be in M Milan against Atletico Madrid. Here we go, first leg of the Champions League semifinals here against the Barcelona. We will be looking to get a revenge here. And I'll be quick simming this. And we do get a 2-2 draw here. Not the best of results, but um, we'll just have to uh, pick up a point here. Here we go. The second leg against Barcelona here. We need to get the job done here at home at Tough Moor. Vinagre did pick up an injury, but I will be out replacing it. And we do pick up a win here. 2-1. Big horse scoring the brace and it will be true to the Champions League semifinals. At the end of the season, we couldn't unfortunately win the Premier League title. Just coming short there. Just uh, Man City winning the last day by one point there. In the relegated sides are Burnmouth, Crystal Palace, and Sheffield United. Let's take a look at the FA Cup. And Man City do win FA Cup beating Blackburn 3-2 uh, there. And the Carabao Cup was won by us. So we do win a trophy here um, beating Wolves 4-1. And let's take a look at the Champions League. We'll be facing Inter Milan in the final there. The Europa League was won by Everton beating Aston Villa 4-3 in penalties. And the Conference League was won by AC Milan. Here are the tests before the final. Our top goal scorer is going to be Maxwell Cornet. There again, 33 goals and 7 assists. Uh, Veghost with 26 goals there. Yorante with 17 and 9. Salamakers with 16 and 13 there. And Raul Di Tomas putting up numbers on the board. But yeah, overall, uh, just a great season in terms of uh, getting to the Champions League final. But um, overwhelming on the other side uh, that we didn't win. And also came short in the champ. I um, mean, the Premier League title. But I'll see you guys at the final. Over. There are few bigger days on the football calendar than Champions League. Welcome to the commentary box. Derek Ray here, joined by Stuart Robson. It's Burnley up against Inter. We do get a first chance at the game here. Nice skills from Salamakers there, but he tried taking the shot with his left foot, but 
great defending from Inter Milan there to go out for goal kick as they have a good chance here. Llorente finds Barea. Barea takes the shot near post there. Another great save from Nick Pope on his left hand side there. As they have a really good chance here this time. Memphis Dubai tried going for near post. Another great save from Nick Pope yeah, as we tried clear and maybe saw the counter attack here. This should have been a goal, but Maxwell Cornet somehow missing it from this close. But great uh, goalkeeping from Alpon Lafonte to deny him from that close as we scored our first goal here. Great cross from Salamakis from the other side to find Nuni Madweke and he finds the back of the net to make it 1 0 in the 65th minute to give us a lead here and we'll be um, winning the Champions League here. It was a KG game, but uh, if you made it this far to the episode, make sure you leave a like and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys next series, which should be coming soon. They'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. Here we go. The Champions League winners. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They're